Hello, this is Smarter Prepping with Uncle Mark, and I'm Uncle Mark. Today is Thursday, <clears throat> Thursday the 25th of July, 2024. Once again, it's Thursday the 25th of July, 2024. The time is now about 20 some minutes before 8 p.m. Coming up on 8 p.m. Getting to be dusk, getting to be twilight time. And I, um, I want to show you, um, I'm considering making another batch of peanut butter, oatmeal, raisin cookies. See, peanut butter, oatmeal, raisin, except, look, Uncle Mark has got dried cherries out instead of raisins. Lots of raisins down here I could use, but I like dried cherries. Uncle Mark likes the dried cherries better than he likes the raisins. And um, Uncle Mark has about 40 pounds, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, at least 10, each one of these is 2 pounds, 20 pounds, yeah. So, um, Uncle Mark has more than 20 pounds. Goodness gracious. <clears throat> more than 20 pounds of dried cherries. I've got about that much raisins as well, but I like dried cherries better. Uncle Mark likes the dried cherries better. So I have huge amount of dried cherries. So let's let's use up one bag of dried cherries, two pounds of dried cherries. I'm going to have to <coughs> look up a recipe. I printed one up a while back. If I can't find it right around, I'll just um, look it up again and print another one. See, there's the printer. See, printer. Huh? Anyway, uh, print up a new recipe for <coughs> peanut butter. Oatmeal raisin cookies, and then I'm, I'll take the recipe. Typically, times four. Oh, and I want to mention, I have so much, so much. See, at least ten bags, that's twenty pounds, at least twenty more pounds of dried cherries after this. Plus, I got twenty-one pounds of peanut butter. Can you look at that and count twenty-one pounds? See the white jars. Fourteen. See fourteen pounds in the white jars. Five one pound red jars. That's 19. And then that larger jar back there is a two pound jar. So, Uncle Mark has well over 20 pounds. That's after I use those two pounds. I'll have to look at the recipe, see if I use two pounds or what. Oh, and the last video that I made, the last video I recorded. I just made my coffee. Coffee! The first coffee! coffee, coffee. Oh, yeah. me alert. Ah! There's my dirty pot from the stew I made yesterday. I, I, I told you. I said, uh, uh, that last video, I said I was going to do the smoothie first. Nope. I did the beef stew first. Shouldn't, don't shake the camera around, Uncle Mark. Shaking the camera around like a silly goose. Don't shake the camera, Uncle Mark. <laughs> shaking up my smoothie, shaking up the camera. But I made the smoothie last, but I made the beef stew first. The beef stew, oh my gosh. Beef stew's here. Fly, get out of the fridge, Fly. Fly, get out of the fridge. The beef stew's here, and also here and here. That's a lot of beef stew. And also, beef stew's in here, see? That beef stew sitting in those slider freezer bags, right? And the beef stew in the fridge. If I crave fishy fishies, I still got 10 pounds of fish sticks. 10 pounds of frozen fish sticks. I may eat those in a little bit here. Oh, see all that? And there's baked beans from a basketball back. The back here is, is uh, where I got spaghetti squash and other greens and did a veggie stew. So I got three quarts of spaghetti squash veggie stew. One, two, three, four quarts, you might say, of that beef. Oh, my gosh. And then I got more stuff. I'm not even sure which one that is on top. But anyway, got more stuff thawing out that had been in the freezer. So I'm, I'm rotating between between batches of food, trying to use up the older first. But the newest batch I put out, no, Mark didn't put out almost a gallon. Yes, I did. The latest batch of beefy, beefy stew. Oh, so tasty. Oh, my gosh. This, this, 
this um, smoothie. All I can taste in the smoothie is the darn uh, is the darn strawberries, frozen strawberries. Remember, I got ten pounds of frozen strawberries. Ten pounds of frozen fish sticks. Ten pounds of frozen strawberries. I'm just swimming in food. Got it. And I just told you how much peanut butter, how much dried cherry. Anyway, so little by little by little by little, make it up and then nibbly nibbly nibbly. Then I'll buy me a new gallon of milk, side milk and cookies. After I make the best cookies, buy milk tomorrow. Okay. I think I'm going to call it good instead of rambling on. By the way, it's a hot, hot day in Wichita, Kansas. It's going to get hotter the next few days, but oh well. We'll make it through. We'll survive. The days that are so hot like this, I actually turn on the, the little AC unit over here, too. So just kind of chill this and the ceiling fan coming. See? And some of that chill air ooze slides out of the bedroom, the guest room here. From that little bitty 5,000 BCU unit, right? And the fan slides some of that out this way. Try to cool off the entire apartment, right? Right. Right. And later on, when it way, way, way after the like midnight, the weather outside is cooler than 80, and then I open windows. I'll put a window over here in the bathroom and the kitchen. But for the moment, let's come in front of the AC. Oh, can you feel it? Oh, that feels so good. Oh, see, that's a joke because you can't feel it by looking at the video. <laughs> anyway, I call it good, and I'm always saying, Oh, Tanya. Smooch, Tanya. <laughs> always clowning around. But she, um, she died the 10th of March, 2022, getting to be two and a half years ago. And uh, she enjoyed saying later, Tater. So are you ready? Three, two, one. Later, Tater.